So, I saw a new design of spot welder on AliExpress, so of course I bought it. And um, here it is, I haven't opened it yet. These are the needles and the miscellaneous stuff that it comes with, but here is the board itself. Let's get this open. Oh. All right, it actually came with a manual. This is literally a first. I've bought a dozen different makes and models of spot welders, and this is the first one that actually has a manual, so that's helpful. Um, does have more buttons than any of the other ones, so we'll have to um, check that out. Now, it is a six MOSFET design, which means it should be able to carry a decent amount of of current, and these are pretty big, um, pretty big, uh, uh, you know, pads over here. So, hopefully, this thing is good. Um, so let me um, hook up some leads and some batteries and uh, we'll start doing some testing. Okay, I have the spot welder wired up. Um, you have your battery coming in, battery negative, battery positive. Your positive needle goes right back out off the positive and then your negative needle comes off this P negative um, terminal. Um, I've used nice and beefy copper lugs on everything, so it should be able to carry some current. And I'm going to plug in my uh, my big battery. Uh, this is a 5200 milliamp ADC battery capable of um, uh, nearly 400 amps. So um, let's plug that in. Uh, nothing happened, nothing came on, so that's fine. Let us look at the manual together. I have not read it. Um, here we go, the buttons. Um, capacity. Uh, so this is apparently on off. Okay, we're on. Uh, this is the capacity. So I have a, this is asking the amp hour of your battery. Okay, so I'm technically using a 5.2 amp hour battery. So the first, um, the first dot here is uh, one to 10 amp hours, which this is. The second dot is your C rating. Um, so I have an 80C rating, so I can go all the way to the top, which is maxes out at 60C. And then uh, the gear, this is, um, I guess, your level, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I guess we'll start on like a 2, and we'll see what that does. Let's get some decent nickel here. What is this? This is really thin. Let me get some thicker nickel here. Mm. All right, I have some nickel. I don't know if this is 0.15 or 0.12. Um, it's unlabeled in my bag of nickel, but we will try it and we will go from there. These needles are very short. These are just my test needles and I've cut them down every time I take them off for a spot welder so they're getting shorter and shorter. So I'm gonna have to kind of do this carefully. So let's see what happens when I put these needles on here. Okay, there was a spot weld. Ooh, pretty, pretty good spot weld. Um, um, pretty good considering that's only a level two. I'm interested to see what like a level four does. I was worried with me only putting the battery to the lowest amp hour setting that it was going to um, cause this to not have very much punch. But that first spot weld was was reasonable considering that was a uh, level two. Let's try what I see what a level four looks like. Ooh. That was a that was a good that was a good deep spot weld. Um, you can see that's the level two. That's the level four. Yeah, you can see it actually tore through the nickel there. 
that's pretty i'm pretty happy with that right out the box and i'm interested to see what happens if i you know tell it i have a slightly bigger battery if if that does anything more i'm gonna i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try a slightly larger battery now for some reason it looks like that might be that's some sort of warning light let's go to the troubleshooting and see what uh flashing Hmm. Don't know what the flashing warning lights mean. I mean, let's see if it'll it'll actually do anything while it's in flashing mode. It might not do anything with the warning lights flashing. Let's see. Okay, so it does nothing. I think what the warning lights are that a battery that's in the, you know, 10 to 20 amps at a 60C, that's going to be a thousand amps and it's warning you that that would blow the board up. So I think I need to put that back to one amp. Yep, see the warning light settle down. So the higher and the ampacity of your battery, the lower the C rating likely you have. So because I have a max, I've maxed out the C rating. Um, I have to I have to keep it on the lowest amp um, setting in order for this thing to calculate that there's not going to be too many amps to blow up the uh, board. So it's got a good safety feature if you're honest about the size of your battery. Um, Let's let I'm just gonna max this I'm just gonna max this out and see what a maximum spot weld looks like. That is that is a good spot weld. Those are those those are the new ones I just did, those four right there. Yeah, tore tore through all the spot welds. Um and actually left, yeah, it's left it's left little nubs on the battery. Um that's a good quality spot weld. This is an interesting board. I like it. Um it is a bit weird that you have to play with all these buttons here, but it's putting out a good it's putting out a good spot weld. Um, okay, here are some unopened 0.15. Let's let's see. I don't know what size this was, so let's let's get the official 0.15. Uh, let's get some of this stuff. Yeah, this feels a bit thicker than that stuff, so that's probably 0.12. So let me put this back in the bag. Okay, so... Oh, I might have screwed up when I bought this. You can see it's actually wider than... Yeah, I bought... This is too wide. I should have bought, I think, 8 mil, and this is 10 mil. So I'm going to cut a slight amount off the edge so that this fits between there we go that's better all right let's try this is 0.15 the, uh, the thickest uh, nickel i spot weld with so we'll leave this in its highest setting and let's do some spot welds Okay, these four are very nice. These are very nice. These ones are a little weird. They kind of almost blew through a little bit. Um, but I think this nickel is... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting that off without a set of pliers.
Yep, that is. That's not coming off with a set without a set of pliers. Let me get a set of pliers on here. Yeah, totally, totally ripped that up. Um. Yeah, the, you know this spot welder is interesting. I will say, okay, I. The good news is it's staying nice and cool. I like that. Uh, I'm not feeling too much heat in, in the spot welder. So my favorite spot welder is the uh, BIFRC spot welder, which I have floating around here somewhere. Uh, here it is. This is my BIFRC spot welder. This is traditionally my favorite spot welder. Um, and I this does, I think, hit harder than this one. But... This one still hits really hard, and it's larger physical size than that. I'm not, this gets really hot really quickly. This one seems to be staying cooler, and it hits adequately hard for what I need for 0.15 um, nickel. This thing is definitely hitting hard enough for me to comfortably build a 0.15 battery. I haven't tried double nickel. That's always an extra trick. Let's let's see how it how how it does with some double nickel. Got to get the sticky I'm gonna get the um, scotch tape that came on this nickel. Okay, so this is that 0.15 again. Let's um, spot weld it down here. Okay, so again, great welds. There's nothing wrong with those welds. Now let's try and put a, like I was doing a cross connection here. As you can see, a very healthy spot weld. Um, yeah, I, I have to say I say this is by far the closest competition to the BIFRC and um, I think if I'm honest I think I would probably spot weld with this on more regularly. It, it is staying much cooler than the BIFRC and it seems to be a little more consistent in the way it hits. The BIFRC does this weird thing where you'll get three consistent spot welds and then one spot weld that like blows through the nickel and then three consistent spot welds and then one that damn near blows through the nickel. It's a little, it's a little inconsistent in how it hits. Um, this one seems to hit very consistently and definitely is the hardest hitting besides the BIFRC. So I think I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I think this might be my new favorite spot welder. Um, I'll keep the BIFRC around for weird jobs where I need to maybe spot weld through some triple nickel or something weird. But I think for most of my regular battery packs and battery, you know, e-bikes and stuff like that, I think this new spot welder will be my new favorite. So, um, yeah, I, um, I do endorse this new spot welder.